What is the problem? Set back up! I'm Eddie Rios. You guys look a freaking mess! And I'm Orby Orta. And we're the head coaches of the two-time world champions California All-Stars, Smoed. Our challenge? Turn around a failing All-Star cheer team. Welcome to Cheer Hub. Get center. One, three, five, seven. Legs. One, center. Three, and front. Five. Good. Seven. Control. Your, your hips behind you. Stand straight up. Even if you're to the side, stand straight up. Get her toe all the way to the front. Work together. Let's go. We recently got contacted by Shauna Holmes, who is the gym owner at Rebel Extreme in Iowa. She has a team that needs some help. My name is Shauna. Uh, I am the owner of Rebel Extreme. We're based out of North Liberty, Iowa. I reached out to Eddie and Orby in California for several reasons. As a level four team, Airborne has had a very difficult time this year. We have a few kids who definitely crack under pressure, um, the pressure of a new skill, the pressure of a competition. And we have kids who kind of are in the mindset right now where they blow it off. They, they take that I don't care attitude. And what better people to turn to than the top two coaches in the United States right now that are producing world champion athletes and world champion teams. One, three, five, seven, and one. Stop playing the blame game, stop playing, being a little diva, let's go. You know, Eddie and I are pretty much one of a kind, so I'm a little nervous on how, you know, these IONs are gonna act towards us, because we say it how it is, there's no candy coating, if there's something wrong, we're gonna rip it, we're gonna make sure that they know that it's wrong. You guys bring all this stuff right here. That dance is disgusting, it's ugly. Uh, excuse me, roll your eyes again, you're out. Do you understand? Go, I'm not gonna play with you. It's a little nerve wracking going into someone else's gym and taking over, but I'm ready. I'm ready to turn this gym around. I don't think these kids know what they're in for. You know, um, hard work, equals great results, and you, you can't go in putting in a mediocre effort and ex expect great results, it just doesn't work. We're gonna go in there with guns blaring and there's no time for nonsense. Get in line, be quiet, put on a smile, and let's get this done. We're at LAX and we're about to board our flight to Iowa. Um, we'll be flying to Cedar Rapids, so I'm excited. I'm uh, nervous. I don't know what to really expect, but I'm excited to see the kids. I'm excited to get there and see what we're up against, and we know that we have a fair amount of work to do. It's like Iceland. The <laughs> trees get cold too. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cold. This one looks good. Let's take a look at the video. See what we're up against. Yeah. All right, so right off the bat, you already have three touched. So you have two falls and a faker back there. Two back layouts back there. That we need to work on those, so it's kind of throwing myself over. Another touch here, and then look at the timing right here on the left. See how the girls missed it? The yeah, transitions aren't bad, they're just really choppy. Whoa, okay. They have five stunts in the air and we lost two. Jumps aren't bad, they just, they're not together. <laughs> tumbling execution's definitely not there, and I think tumbly quantities are not there right now. It's just timing, timing, it's a loop all over the place. Yeah, I, I feel like tumbling is definitely lacking, so the kids are not really performing because they're lacking confidence in the overall routine. So let's concentrate on cleaning them. Let's concentrate on making sure they're in the right level because right now this routine is way too difficult for them. I think that's the challenge, but we can get it done. Out of metal? Let's do it. Hello, Iowa. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Hi. I'm a hugger. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eddie. Hey, nice to meet nice you guys. To meet you. Welcome to Iowa. We saw the video and we're really excited to make all these changes. Okay. Are your kids ready? Because we're ready. Well, yeah, uh, we're I ready. So. <laughs> We've tried to prep them. We'll see. Eddie and Norby are coming in today and it's our first practice and I'm really nervous. We're going to be doing a lot of conditioning and I'm honestly just trying to survive it. <laughs> I think there will be a few girls that won't be able to handle it and they're going to have a mental breakdown. All right. Show us to we them. Welcome, welcome. Airborne! Airborne, bring it in! Bring it in! Hey, kids. 
Hi guys, you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Not sure, huh? Maybe, can we, can we try yeah. that? Maybe. I'm Eddie and this is Orby, if you don't know already. We're excited to work with you guys. We've already seen your video and we know where we need to start to get you where you need to be. It's definitely going to be a tough day too, guys, so be, be ready. Because we're going to coach you just like we coach our own kids. With that said, line up. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start bear crawls. We're gonna go down the line, up the line, down the line, all the way to the last line on the gray. Go. Good, make a U-turn and right down the line. All the weight should be on your hand, ladies. Once you make it to the end, get back up and do it all over again. Keep your hands on the floor, make sure your knees don't touch the ground. Let's go, get moving. Level four is you throw standing tucks. Standing tumbling through to at least a tuck or preferably a layout. Running layout, round up by can spring. Aerial flips in a layout position. This team, it's mixed level. It's not a true level four team, a true level three team. They have kids mixed in. We're seeing a lot of lower level athletes on this team and kids that are not strong mentally. But over the weekend, I think we can pump them up to really step up for their team. Make sure your feet are at least two inches off the ground. Snake yourself up. Snake yourself right back. Five on each line. No knees on the ground. If I see knees on the ground, you're all starting again. 60 seconds, 59, 43. My name's Megan. I've been cheering for four years and I'm 17. I'm pretty terrified because I have a tendency to have get hit hard by conditioning. It kills me inside. It just kills my soul. I'm not very good at the mind over matter thing. Any of you are gonna throw up, don't do it on my floor. Get outside or get to the bathroom. Go running. This is the difference between short and and not straight. Don't be a cheerleader, be a champion. This is where it counts, right here. Let's go, make that difference. Keep your hands on the floor, keep your hands on the floor, we'll go again. We only give them half of what we usually give SMOED. If we were to come in and give them exactly what we do in our practice, we're gonna go hard like we would with our kids, we would annihilate them. Your mental capacity is so much more powerful than your physical capacity. And that mental aspect of getting through these hard conditioning sessions is what's gonna make them champions and what's gonna make them successful overall. Cool, once you're down to your five, hold a push up to the last person done. It's done. Come on, girls, keep going. That was you, sweetie, that was you. You put your knees on the floor, so everybody's doing shoulder taps now. So keep going. Would it have been easier to just hold a push up like I asked you? Or put your knee down twice when I asked you not to and keep doing shoulder taps? So it's either we're going to do what I ask you to do or you do what you want to do. Got it? So when I ask you to do something, just do it. But if you want to do it the hard way, it's going to hurt even more, I promise. Everybody does cheerleading for different reasons, and I feel there's a lot of kids that do it for fun, the fun aspect, and that's awesome. But if they want to train, train hard, and, and be super competitive, you know, they have to switch the mentality a little bit and get into that competition mode. Every minute that you waste in the gym laughing and playing, there's teams out there getting better. So I, I think overall as a theme, we got to carry that through the week. Do your elite section first, and then you can go into baskets, and then you can go into pyramids. Okay. Don't look at me like that. Yeah, it's real. Come on, guys. Let's talking. Let's talking more. More baskets. For the little bit of time that we've been here, what I can notice with this team is that every kid has something to say. Everything's a joke, everything's funny, and that needs to end. If they're going to be the next best thing, and they're going to perform like a small routine would be performed, then they need to conduct themselves like that. They're professional athletes, because that's how we treat our kids. And right now, it's everything is games and laughing and playing, but before the night's over, that won't change. You guys, every time you go for a hurdle, you need to be on fist, not on hands. Oh yeah, yeah. When she was doing a whip back, she actually landed on her knees and face planted. So she's really mentally freaked out by all this at the moment, and she's very scared to throw her tumbling. Kristen is a very strong level four tumbler, very strong level four athlete. Right now, she's having a mental break. Airborne does not handle stress or pressure well at all and it's been an ongoing issue. We have a few kids who definitely crack under pressure. I mean, ultimately, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because this is a big challenge for Eddie and I. If it's a level four routine, 
We can't have your level four athletes falling all over the place. Eddie and I are not miracle workers. It's time, I need, I need, I need.